chance that you've been waiting for It's the light coming through the cracks City, we're going to grab Sean and Isla, our kids, and I'm going to take them to see Aquaman, and you are going to babysit Abigail. <laughs> That's what grandmas do. That's right. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the older versions and go see this movie, and uh, we'll see if it's good. You know, I don't know too much about it other than they spent a gobs of money on it, and uh, but Kathy's wearing that jacket to kind of go with the theme. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of waves, Since way back. I didn't get invited to go see the movie. Yeah, just keep rubbing it in, buddy. It's not going to work. But first, we need to go to La Salsa, grab some burritos, and then uh, head on over. When life shows an open door, come on, step through. A chance like the purest go. We've left Kathy behind at Sean and Isla's. Uh, she's taking care of the baby. I, I am sitting next to the baby seat, but there's no baby. It's like gone. She's gone. Uh, Sean's driving, Isla's with us, and we're gonna go see Aquaman because um, I don't really have a reason. You know, why are we seeing this movie? Yeah, we're fans of Entourage. I'm not. Sean is a, Sean said they're huge fans of Entourage. <laughs> Excuse me. Huge fans of Entourage. I don't even know what that means, actually. Exactly. So, really. I, I know there's lots of fans of that, but I'm going to go see it because uh, I've been a fan of Aquaman. He's been my, my favorite superhero, even though they changed him completely from being an Aryan-looking guy to uh, a long-haired hippie, hippie dude. They should call it Hippie, hippie Aquaman. <laughs> yeah. Aqua Hip. Something like that. <laughs> uh, so we're going to Third Street Promenade, and that's where it's playing, and that's about all I have to say about that.
Yeah. 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 the Santa Monica theaters, the AMC. It's down there, waiting for these guys to do their business. Uh, I don't know about uh, how excited I am about seeing Aquaman because uh, the original comic book was vastly different than what uh, this movie seems to be, but we'll see. It's going to be visually interesting. Even the guy up at the counter said that it's visually spectacular, but the script is not as strong, the story is not as strong as uh, Marvel movies. This is a DC movie, so we'll see. We'll check it out. Are you ready for this? I am ready. Because you're standing next to a celebrity. <laughs> it's not me. It's Jason Momoa. He's right here hanging out with us. Um, what do you think? Is, is the movie good? Yeah. <laughs> In case of emergency, walk out of the building and move far away. Aquaman. Aqua man. Um wow. <laughs> I need a nap now. I, I think the movie was about seven hours. <laughs> Maybe it just felt that way. They it was it was it was a lot. It was a lot. How how would you describe that movie in one word? Blau. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means, and I totally get it. Exactly. Uh, uh, we were we were describing it as we walked out, and I had mentioned that it's basically like <laughs> you're filling up your car with gas, and once it's full, then you just continue to fill it for the next hour. <laughs> just kind of keep going. Now, it. Uh, on the on the negative side, on the positive side, it was visually quite extraordinary. Yeah, very amazing. Yeah. Um, uh, lots of things that you haven't seen before, like riding whales and seahorses and things like that. I haven't seen that before. Yeah. Whale riding. Yeah, and you shark know. riding. Yeah, always fun. I wouldn't mind trying that. Um, but one thing that's missing. What's the one thing that's missing? No, uh, story. <laughs> a story. story. Uh, kind of. There was a story, um, but it was kind of the standard revenge story in, in that a uh, guy does something, the other guy doesn't like it, wants to get revenge, and then there's a big battle that ensues for two and a half hours. Yeah. Right? But Aquaman didn't have a car. He didn't wow, have a cool car. There you go. And I think Aquaman needs a cool car. And if he had one, what would it be? What What would you give him? Well, one of those cars that could go on land and water. Yeah, one of those boat cars. <laughs> yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. That's because, perfect. you know, it may not go underneath, but uh, but James Bond had a submarine car, and that, that would go mm, over well. That would be good. Yeah. yeah, although he's kind of beefy. I don't know if he could fit in the Lotus Esprit, <laughs> right. but we could make a bigger one. Yeah. Something that yeah. that would that you know would fit Little the Triton. The Triton could be on the top like a surfboard. Oh yeah, that's perfect. you know, and that way he could be stoked and drive his car and do everything he needs to do on land and on sea. Um, I'll look into that uh, momentarily. But otherwise, uh, scale of one to ten, Aquaman being. <laughs> so Wait, hard. Waiting for it. Three or four? Maybe? Three, three, 3.4. Yeah, 3.4. 3.4. Uh, a story needed to spend a little bit more time developing Aquaman before he was Aquaman. Right. Right? Exactly. Like uh, Aqua Baby, Aqua Kid. Yeah. Yeah, a little more on that would have been nice. So maybe a prequel. If the movie makers are listening, prequel to Aquaman, call it Aqua, Aqua Squirt, Aqua Kid. <laughs> yeah. There you go.
rain tonight. Rain a cometh. Aquaman. Aqua. Aquaman. Um, okay, so here's the thing with Aquaman is that let's talk about the pros first. The pros, it's it's an epic movie on an epic scale. Of the, the amount of money they spent on visual effects, I think far outweighs pretty much anything else that they did, at least the amount of time that they put into the visual effects. Extraordinary. Uh, they've created a whole new world and uh, undersea, although uh, remnants of Jar Jar Binks' world, a lot of uh, of undersea looking stuff that was similar to that movie, to the other Star Wars movie that came out uh, maybe a decade previously. But still, it, it looked good. It, it Everything was, uh, the quality of everything was as high as as you can do in a movie like this. The acting, uh, the acting was pretty good. You know, the directing certainly, uh, James Wan, great, great directing. Um, uh, no no complaints about the directorially, uh, you know, where they place the cameras, the types of shots, things like that. The thing where it suffers, where a lot of these movies suffer, is in the story. And in this case, the story uh, was lacking on a lot of different areas because the, the best kind of superhero movie are the ones where they, they don't become the character, they don't become the superhero for a bit of time. In this movie, he became Aquaman like in the first 10 minutes of the movie, and, and the rest of the movie is basically battles and fighting and a lot of this, uh, this kind of stuff. And although that visually is interesting, it's less interesting because uh, they haven't developed the character and you don't, you don't uh, connect with the character emotionally, and that's very important. Far the best superhero movie, uh, in my opinion, that's been done is uh, was Batman Begins because he didn't become Batman for three quarters of the way through the movie. So by the time he did become Batman, you really understood his plight, why he was going to be what he was going to be, and you understood every single tool he had and its purpose and, and what, what motivated him. And of course, Christopher Nolan is a, was a tremendous director, a tremendous storyteller, and a tremendous screenwriter uh, between he and his brother. But uh, this movie, Aquaman, was suffering in the in the realm of story as to what was motivating Aquaman to do things, and then there was a lot of, of little little things that bothered me that would take me out of the movie. And that's the problem with movies like this, which are two and a half hours, is that they struggle with keeping you in the film. And the way that you connect with viewers in movies is not from here, but from here. Good experience, always fun. Um, Isla said the best thing about the movie was that it was over. So that's not necessarily a good thing. But I, I think that if you uh, if you are a big Aquaman fan and you, you like the the superhero type of movies, um, uh, go see it. You know, you got nothing to lose. Uh, it's certainly popcorn entertainment, but it certainly also uh, makes it very clear where where DC is suffering and certain things Marvel is taking off. Marvel is doing uh, much better. Uh, Avengers Infinity War, killer movie. Okay, that's all I have to say about uh, about the film. So um, that was the experience. Had a good time. Always hanging out with, with my my son and with uh, with those guys. Just just a blast. Kathy did a great job at uh, taking care of Abigail while we were doing that. And getting the Woody book start. We've been getting the Woody book starting. I'm, I'm working on a sketch. It's right down here. I can't, I'm not going to show you this one because I'm not quite ready for that. Uh, I did show you some other ones, but moving along. February 1st, the the Surf Woody book is going to be coming out. Super excited, very stoked, going to be uh, uh, working with a lot of Woody Clubs. Very happy about that. This is Fireball Malibu Vlog, where we only do cool stuff with cars and a few other things. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to crush that subscribe button. Always happy to have you around. Always fun to be playing with you guys. Some fun stuff coming this week. If you want to know what's going to be happening, go to our website, fireball10.com, and you'll see some of the stuff that's coming up this week. But tomorrow, tomorrow, the Shelby Cruising at the Peterson Museum. We're going to it. We're going to hang out, bring all you guys. It's going to be fun. See ya.